is a book review of Decorative Art 60s. And this is edited by Charlotte and Peter Phil. And there's the back cover. It's from Tashin Books, one of their brilliant Tashin Books. I love Tashin Books. And I have no problem with Tashin Books in this size as well as big size. Though, of course, the small size is just easier and a lot more portable. So, but the pictures, of course, and text, well, it's all fairly small. But it's no big deal. So I'm just going to quickly run through this. Now, how many pages? Well, it's approximately about 576 pages. And the book came out in 2006. There was an earlier edition that came out in 2000. There's some German, there's some French, and also, of course, in English. But the book is based on, I'm just going to give the actual details, the Studio Magazine it was founded in Britain in 1893. And all the various articles, the various essays, etc. in this and references to various things are all from that magazine. And it's, but it's all done by themes instead of just putting this, that all the way through. It's done in themes for the 60s, of course. There are other books of 50s, 70s, etc. There's also a 30s and 40s one, I think, as well. But I love these books. I love all design books, like of a certain period, especially like the 60s. I love 60s design. Quite often when I'm looking through this, it's rather depressing because you think, oh, wouldn't that be nice if that was still available in the shops now? Some of the designs that you think, wow, that would be really, really good. But, of course, they're not. Of course, you can, of course, go to auctions and find them in various places. I'm certain that uh, I love looking at uh, the bookshelves as well. Terrible because, of course, I love books. So when I, I end up looking at these bookshelves, I think, oh, that's a nice selection of books there. Trouble is, of course, the pictures are quite small, so you can't really see them. But what does it have initially? They are flat near Maidstone in England. So you've got a, some a lovely, so you've got houses, got various flats, apartments, obviously shows. This one, house at Dragon Rock. Now, I'm not certain what period. So there's another load of pictures. And it's just great. Most of it's black and white. There's some colour in it. But uh, if you just go through here, Paris apartments, you just look at them. Just absolutely capture the period. Of course, they were photographed during the time. So, of course, they are exactly the 60s. The only depressing thing about it is often, well, other than the fact that uh, wouldn't it wouldn't be nice to live in some of those places, you never see any people. There's never, they always have shots of like literally everyone's walked out of the room. So you've got a seat just there. No one around. Great, lots of great books there. That was it. Keston in Kent. There's lots all over the place. So there's like Zurich, Japan. This is international. This is a whole range of different. This one's uh, Italy and London, Copenhagen, Copenhagen, Spain. Oh, someone in the picture. Wow, they made a mistake there got someone in the picture so love that with the keys and you just got picture after picture there's good selection there's up to about 150 pages of houses all the interiors of houses and they are amazing i love those sort of house and gardens magazines as well of the period as well 60s then you've got all the various furnishings some of them very impractical i would imagine very uncomfortable to be honest but some of them look great I love again bookshelves, lots of fireplaces, chairs. Some chairs look great. Some chairs look very uncomfortable. I love some of the, oh, this one's quite good. Of course, uh, Conran Design Group. Of course, he died recently. So uh, that's a lovely design there. That looks really great now. I remember lots of these designs. I remember in the magazines and also in various houses that I've I'm certain that they weren't probably, some of these were, when you read the references, these were top, obviously top designers, but there were similar sort of uh, functions you could find from just your standard shops. And so the, the designs, and I love that, the globe chair. Again, I think really, I don't know if they were comfortable or not. I can't remember ever sitting in a globe chair. They look incredibly uncomfortable. But I might be wrong. Maybe they're very nice. Maybe feel very cosy once you're in one. Some of these chairs are just great. <laughs> some of the tables. I love some of the uh, the fabrics as well. You've got warps uh, there. 
cotton wool, linen weft. weft. How ever you say that? No idea. We've got some other, lots and lots of designs, obviously, of fabrics, etc. And it goes through the period. So it's like 61, 62, 63, 64. So you've got to... Now, I imagine the books that these all come from, the material is not included. Not everything was included. I might be wrong, but I don't think everything was included. And it's got a lot of detail, like Finland here. It's beautiful. Carpets. Then glasses. Something I'm not particularly... Glasses are glass to me. I, that's terrible. I know some people love glasses. But you look at them, and some of them are amazing designs. But the thing is, with me, I would be worried all the time that I would just knock that over. Because it's virtually inevitable. Oops. I imagine that some of these designs, one from the 60s, are now very carefully put away. But uh, they, they would be just so fragile. And I, I'm not really one for glass. So. But it's amazing what people have created over the years with the different designs. I remember some of those. Those, those plates, and glass plates, yeah. Never liked them. Never liked them. But some of these look very fragile. I love the colours, the different colours. They're just beautiful. Oh, look at that. Absolute. The purple and, and red. And then you've got lights. Lights, in many ways. Some of you, I'm just looking at some of these lights, and I, I've seen lots of these designs are still, I think, readily available now. Not all. I'm certain some are a bit obscure, but, uh, you know, when you go into shops now, you can probably find similar sort of light. The lights haven't really... Sort of thing. But it's, this is just an absolutely glorious book. Just go through it. It's one of the books you can sort of dip into and you think, wow. That is, it's just a great reference. So if you're into, as a reference, maybe if you're like, uh, like me, like drawing, always drawing various things, doing... You know, like some 60s work or something. Of course, you've got some, this is a great reference. And suddenly you think, well, you know what? I can put in, or if you're writing a, a novel about the 60s, you've got all this great stuff to sort of mention, just to throw in occasionally, the occasional reference to the 60s. And you've got some uh, then pots and pans to finish it off. Ceramics as well. Again, another thing that I've really personally never been particularly interested in all ceramics, but. Again, each their own. Then you've got an in index at the back, designer and architects, and that's it. And then you've got a Passion's 25th anniversary, all the various ones they brought out. And they're, I think, I love Tashin books. Whenever I, I pick up quite a few of them, I must admit. And this one is absolutely superb. Decorative art, 60s. So, totally recommended.